for giving you the lowdown on real estate. We have a mortgage expert and a real estate attorney in the house taking your questions. So let's go right to Denise, who has a question about refinancing a mortgage. My name's Denise Stewart, and I'd like to know how often is too often to refinance a home? Vincent? Good question, Denise. I think that one thing that we look at, at least when we're determining whether or not it makes sense for a buyer or a borrower to refinance their loan is there's a, an, an equation which is a tangible net benefit. You have to kind of figure out the amount of money that you're saving by either consolidating debt or by lowering your interest rate. How long is it going to take for you to recoup that money uh, versus the closing cost that it actually costs to get the deal done? Uh, you may be saving $100 a month, however, it costs you $10,000 to get the deal done probably doesn't make much sense. Um, if you can recoup your costs within about a 36-month period, I think you're doing pretty good. The other option, of course, if you have an adjustable rate mortgage currently, which many U.S. consumers do, uh, that's expiring in the next year or two, right now we're at a point where short-term interest rates are about even with long-term interest rates. So although your adjustable rate mortgage currently may be at a 4 or 5% range, when that expires, that margin plus the index, that adjustable rate may get up to seven, maybe as high as eight percent. So it might be a good idea to put turn that into a fixed rate now. Another good reason to refinance. And in that case, you don't look at your payment today. Look at your payment is going to be a year or two down the road. Exactly. And if you're planning on staying in the house. Well, let's go to Anne's question. And she has a very important issue that she's raising for folks who want to relocate to a new area. I'm Ann Pizzoli. Uh, wondering how can I, where can I go to check some safety statistics on relocating into different neighborhoods? Start doing your homework and doing your research. Many real estate offices actually have a ton of information regarding crime statistics and, and public safety as far as the neighborhoods that are in that area. Um, a couple other links, I believe, if you look on the internet, nationalalertregistry.com. If you punch in your zip code or your prospective zip code, it will actually tell you how many sex offenders are in that zip code and, um, you know, 